so much, guys. Yes, I hear you. I hear you. Thank you. Oh! How many fingers am I holding up right now? Two. Thank you. Who was that that just answered that question? Am I feeling all of you guys in here right now? You're draining it from me? Okay. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Emmanuel here from Real Life Paranormal. Um, first off, I want to start off by saying thank every single one of you guys um, who commented and responded and reached out to me. I really got an overwhelming amount of uh, love and support, so I really, really thank you guys for motivating me and getting me back on track here. Anyways, guys, um, after so many requests of people wanting me to show them how to put the Verge Box together and how it works, I'm going to finally go ahead and show you guys that video towards the end. Um, I'll actually do the building part and show you guys how to assemble it, but um, mostly throughout the beginning, I'm just explaining things. So if you don't care to see that, you can skip it. But anyways, I love you guys. I hope you enjoy this video. Definitely like and subscribe and let's get into it. Now to understand the Verge Box and how it works, we got to first understand what exactly the Verge Box is doing to the audio once we put it into the box. So as soon as you put in audio, it'd be going from... Which plug here? One of these plugs. There's two plugs. There's two input plugs here. Okay. The Verge Box has two input plugs. One is for effects, if you want effects, or whatever else you want to put into it, if you want to test things. And one is for the audio banks. The Verge Box is simply a spirit box enhancer. It does nothing more. It does nothing less. What this does is makes it easier for people to hear it in real time. Um, and the only reason why it's able to do that is because of these two recorders here on the side. But this is a very interesting box because this works in a very, very different way than any other device I've ever seen. So, so on either side, you'll see that we have voice recorders. I'll try to turn this too so you guys can actually see the voice recorder. This is one of the voice recorders. This is the ST25. And on the other side, we have the ST10. So a lot of you guys are like, okay, so you plugged in two recorders to a speaker and now you're calling it a spirit box. <laughs> well, no, that's not exactly what's all that's going on here, guys. When you plug in uh, a spirit box or a spirit box app into this, that audio goes into this cord back out to the recorders. That's why I have input on both of them. It goes back out into the recorders. The audio is then looped back through out of the recorders into the other recorder and then finally out into the actual speaker. Now, the purpose of all of these loop through features is it gives the spirits more time to manipulate the audio. I noticed there's so many people that when they're doing sessions or when they're trying to create devices, they're making the scanning rates really fast. They're making, they're putting all this extra white noise. It, it just doesn't make sense, guys. Spirits manipulate audio to speak. It's been proven many, 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 many times on my videos, Steve Huff's videos, Gold Rush Paranormal's videos. Like I have a whole list of people that you can find this evidence that I'm talking about. And it's very interesting that there's so many people that believe like white noise and, and things like that actually help spirits. That's not the case. Um, yes, spirits do manipulate audio to speak. And I did just say that, but it's not that type of audio that, that makes it easier for them to manipulate. Now, if I just give spirits a bunch of white noise for this box, they probably wouldn't be able to speak because this isn't really a, a, like a, its own spirit box. Like I said, it's a spirit box enhancer. So this is just simply made to help spirits, to give spirits a little bit more time to form those words than just having it going through an app or a regular speaker. The only difference between using a regular app or a wonder box in this is a wonder box has the effect pedals. Now, don't get me wrong, I, that's why I actually added a different, a secondary aux cord, so that way you could add your own effects. Now, personally, I use digital effects because they work great, they're cheap, 
um and it's very 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 interesting the amazing things we can do with digital effects you really don't need to go spend 60 to 100 dollars on these pedals so the verge box is a loop through feature basically everything that comes in will loop through every single thing that i have plugged into the box and loop back out and finally come out of the speaker which in turn gives spirits extra time to speak that's the only thing the verge box does guys now the top piece here, all of this you see here, these crystals, this pendulum, this is just for energy. Not the pendulum part, but the crystals and the copper and the metal. This is specifically for spirits to use, touch, grab, and get, draw energy from that. Now, I recently added this energy stick, and this actually allows spirits to touch this, and this goes off. So, you have your box, you have your two recorders, you have your four aux cords, and then you have your two aux splitters. So, you're going to plug in one of these splitters into the actual box itself, right? Once you do that, on the back side, you're going to have these two output plugs, right? All right, so this is the splitter that I was telling you guys about. It's gonna be in the back, the two splitters. So now that you have that, what you're gonna to wanna to do is get one of your aux cords and you're gonna to wanna to plug it in to one of the sides here, okay? So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to plug in this splitter to the second aux piece, like so. And then you'll see that there's two more um, input areas for you to use, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to plug one side into here, right? All right. You're going to plug in the other side to here. Okay. Now this cord is the one going into the input of the ST25 recorder, okay? This cord right here, I just have it wrapped around. This is a fourth extension cord. Remember, so we started off with the two splitting pieces. We plugged in one aux cord, okay? We plugged in the splitter, the main part of the splitter to the output of this aux. And then this is the, the same aux that's going in right here. This is the output of that, okay? So we're gonna plug that into that there, okay? Hope you guys are following along here. Hopefully I'm not going too fast. And guys, if I'm going too fast or I didn't explain it well enough, let me know in the comments. All right, so once you guys have all of these plugged in back here, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the output and you're going to plug in one cord, one aux cord to the outputs of the speakers. What this does is allows that loop through thing that I was telling you guys about to work through at its best. The output from here is going into here. The input from here is going into these cords. Let's backtrack to make sure we're not lost here. So first we got the one aux cord into here. So this is going to be your input cord. This is what you plug in, your iPad, your phone, the spirit box, all of this stuff. This is gonna be that cord, okay? That's that. This cord right here, the one that's connected on both sides, let me just throw it around because we really don't need that. We don't have to worry about that. Again, that's just going to feed the audio from this side um, to the other recorder. Okay. Now that we have that, we have one more aux here. And this aux actually plugs into the output of this. So you're going to plug in one more into here. Okay. Once you plug that in, you basically have those two cords that I was telling you about. You have the one for your effects and pedals and any of that stuff if you want to add that and then you also have you know your aux just for spirit boxes and spirit box apps and stuff like that i just grabbed my ipad i'm gonna do a quick test real quick and show you guys that it actually does work so as you guys can see i just got the dead wave app right here and if you want to when you want to turn it on make sure you have the recorders recording if you don't want to miss it on the recorders again guys if you don't have the recorders recording it will still play through the speaker, but you're not going to get that loop through feed that gives spirits more time to speak. 
So make sure if you guys are using this method, it's always looping through. The most important thing here is to make sure the audio is looping through. Okay. Does the verge box actually do anything to help with communication? all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and end it off right there i really really hope you guys got some value out of that and i hope i didn't go too fast or anything like i said before um if i did miss anything or if i went too fast for you let me know in the comments or you could private email me um the link is in the description and i'll message you back as soon as i can to try to help you guys out I love you all. Um, I hope you guys enjoy your Verge boxes and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.